My name is Gabriel, I'm 13, and the school I go to now is Highgate. I applied for the pre-test to both UCS and Highgate, and I got both is from both school, and I got offers from both schools, but I chose Highgate instead. I went on to do the common entrance, and my results were straight A's in every, in every subject. I also use milestones. They make you more confident in a, in the huge variety of subjects. They help you with not just that, but interview skills as well, so, you know, not to fidget like this, or just just be confident and not in a nervous disposition, like talk to them like you were talking to a friend of yours or something. And that was really helpful. And it made me very more confident as a person as well, not just academically. It's a lot of work lot of writing and it does leave you quite exhausted but you just have to have something that like just makes you you know just power forward like a mantra which I had and it was just something that translate into I I can do this you know don't worry and mine was I eat, I ate fish eyeballs I love film and I go to a film society at Highgate where they talk about cinema. It's, it's very interesting. They talk about um, all aspects of film, from M. Night Shyamalan to Jackie Chan. It's, it's very interesting film and I, very, and I like it a lot. I admire my water polo coach because he has been doing and training water polo and swimming for about 40 years and hasn't given up on his passion. And I, and and I find that really cool because it just shows, you know, as you get older you can still love things. He's about 60 now and he started this water polo stuff when he was about 19 and I just fell in love with it. And I found that really, really impressive and cool. My favourite lesson is probably chemistry because ever since I was young I loved looking at the periodic timetable and quizzing my father and mother on it. It was very fun and I also just like the whole concept of the experiments and different, you know, reactions. My favourite book is probably The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. It's a very beautiful book with very nice imagery about how the old man once went to visit Africa and he saw lions on the beach and that made him very happy. And it was so simple but in an, and immature in a way, but it was just, it was, it fitted really nicely and I really liked it. It's about one hour to midday and and three hours to three o'clock from midday, so that's about four hours. Add on the 22 minutes, four hours, 22 minutes, between 11 o'clock and 3, 22. Then divide four hours, 22 minutes by two, you get two hours, 11. Add that on to 11 o'clock o'clock and you get on 11 p.m. I bring a survival uh, expert because he know he or she would know how to hunt down uh, certain types of animals and what to eat and just how to survive in an extreme habitat like that and I'd also bring someone close you know like a good friend or a relative because then if we had to do something drastic I wouldn't mind doing it because they're next to me and that is very comforting. I would take a mirror because I would use the sun's rays to reflect off the mirror's surface so I could say no to passing by ships and they could 
attract the attention because it's a very bright light and yours are very good reflectors.